So what am I going to do today? I have no idea. Um, I figured instead of starting with a sample, I might just uh, play the keyboard for a second, kind of find some chords and just, you know, build something off of that. I like to have quarter notes going. Maybe put some extra eighth notes in there. One, two, three. Master Parts, my wife is dancing in the kitchen again. <laughs> you guys are giving me energy, making me feel good. Uh, yeah, let's put some bass down on it, you know what I mean? Oh, oh. Yeah, I might have to put some vocals on this. I think I might do some vocal stuff. That kind of sounds, that feels right to me. But it could be cool to like actually have, I mean I use that nice vocal mic, but I could just use this microphone. I've done that before and that way I can be thinking about workflow, thinking about optimizing. But I have no idea what, what it is. That I have no idea what it is, don't matter. The music makes sense. Let's put it down. One, two. I mean, I could, but then I have to duplicate it so many times. And you know what could be cool is using, uh, so I actually have a really uh, special drum machine. All right, you know what? Let's just go to the control room and I'll show you it. Check out these vocals for a second. Uh...
Alright, uh, I'm just gonna very quickly just get these levels right. It's fun to break things down like this um, after you've, you know, laid out, down so many different parts. It's cool to strip it all back, see what's there, and just kind of, you know, just work on where they're all sitting in the mix, you know. And I actually doubled by playing the real roads. So now what if we gave that a different timbre? And check this out if you mess with the phase. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Please don't forget